I'm here at the Houston Space Center for NASA with Berkeley Labs at their Science Symposium. What an incredible backdrop for Berkeley Labs to be introducing new baits for forward-facing sonar. You know, we've been learning just about everything you can from uh, the scientists, the engineers, um, the Bass Pros, and so many others are giving us insight into uh, these three new lures. And they are all very technique oriented lures that are used in conjunction with forward-facing sonar, which is all the rage, uh, and really helping anglers get the edge for catching more fish, especially on the bass tournament trail. Yeah, I fish for a living, so I fish tournaments about half the year doing the Bassmaster Opens in 2024, and then I'm a full-time guide on Lake Lanier and Lake Hartwell. Okay. All right, so what do we have there? So right here we have the new Berkeley Finisher. It's one of their new forward-facing sonar baits for 2024. It's gonna come in a five, a seven, and a nine size. This happens to be the seven. And really the deal with these baits is you can do a lot with it in one cast. So you can snap it on the bottom like a spoon if you have some fish out in 40, 50 foot. We caught some on a lake near the house doing that, sinking it down to them, snapping it off the bottom. You can catch them doing that. You can fish it mid-water column, kind of the new technique right now on the tournament circuits is called you know mid-strolling. So you can sink it down halfway, twitch your rod tip, and just twitch it on the way in. And you can do something as just reeling it. So you can do all three of those things, and you can do all three on the same cast. So let's say you're strolling that bait in and you have some following it. You can say, okay, they're not going to eat it strolling. You can open your spool, sink that bait down to the bottom, and then start jigging it up and down. So you can present that lure multiple ways in the same cast. And, uh, yeah, it's forward-facing sonar optimized, and uh, we're out here testing it today. We're here for the Berkeley Science Symposium. We're on the water with the new FFS baits, and forward-facing sonar has been something that's taken the industry by storm. It's something everybody's using, everybody's talking about. It's winning tournaments, and Berkeley has taken, you know, their effort and time to put towards building baits that we can catch fish with easier on forward-facing sonar, and the power switch is one of those baits. It's been out for a little while now. Um, just got my hands on them, so I'm excited to use them. And something that has gotten huge with forward facing sonar has been little bait fish profile baits like this, you know, on a jig head, casting at fish under bait balls, fish, you know, deep down on your sonar. See the bait right there? Yeah. I kind of need to. Uh... Yeah, here it goes. It's going down to that fish right there. Where's that? My bait's right here above this fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right near it. You can catch thousands of fish on this thing. This is kind of like, you know, my my favorite way to, to fish this bait. I just kind of reel and uh, just lightly shake the tip of the rod. And what that allows me to do is just kind of hover the bait in place and wiggle that tail because, I mean, the, uh, the straight tail, you can see it's got a lot of action. And uh, what that's doing is it's kind of staying in the water column at the same level in the strike zone, wherever the fish are. And it's just kind of wiggling back and forth, side to side rolling, and uh, they eat it up. You speed it away from them as soon as they start to come after it. Just like a natural bait fish instinct, and uh, they can't stand it. All right, guys, we got the new Berkeley Credge. They got the name from jerk spelled backwards, so Credge. And uh, really the deal with this bait is a big deal the last couple years in tournaments has been getting a jerk bait down to fish on forward facing sonar, but we were kind of limited to the five to 10 foot range at a max doing that. And what this bait does is it actually backslides and shimmies on the fall. So you can throw it out to say a brush pile or a ledge or something like that in 20 foot, and you can backslide it down to those fish. And when you jerk it like a jerk bait, it's gonna come up really fast and it's gonna sink down almost to where you jerked it up from. So maybe five, six inches in front of that spot. So you can leave it down there in the fish's strike zone and still get that jerk bait out action without pulling it away from the fish. So uh, that's a good way you can sink it down to them. You can fish it mid water column. You can get it down to them, rip it away really fast. That's kind of one of the big deals with this bait. Um, I'm from Lake Lanier. We've used it at home. Spots are super aggressive. The second they see it, we pull it away from them as fast as we can and uh, they come up and crush it. And kind of the third way you can fish it 
is top water. So if you reel this thing on the surface, it's gonna have a super natural, just side to side shimmy to it. And uh, in the fall, when they're on smaller thread fins or little bait fish, or you have a slick calm day where you need more of a finesse top water, that's a, that's a killer presentation. So again, one of the new 2024 Berkeley forward facing sonar baits, the Kredge. The amazing thing about forward-facing sonar is that not only can you see very high-definition uh, echoes from the uh, from the fish themselves and the structure, but you can see the movement of those fish in real time. As can you also see the movement of your lure in relation to those fish. You can actually see your jigging action. You can see the uh, fish following the lure, um, and and this is really a game changer. Uh, although currently very um, concentrated for use with bass fishermen, no doubt this will be something us inshore fishermen and even offshore fishermen are going to harness the power of this new technology. You could be in that strike zone a little bit longer. You, 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 you know, can. And kind of a lot of these baits you're kind of evoking a reaction strike. Right, right. It's kind of a technique lure. Yeah, yeah. But they're all kind of, they all have their own specific techniques in a way, right? right? And, and that's what we're doing with these baits. We're, we're getting them in the strike zone. We're able to keep them there without swimming them out. Um, you know, we can put them on the fish and once the fish start getting interested in them, then that's the key here is, is really trying to get that reactionary bite, right? So once they start nosing up on the bait, you know, and, and they're just following it, you know, you can, you know, really get some good thrusting actions with them and, and it's going to make them respond. And, and that's the key versus throwing the bait out and really struggling, keeping it in that zone and moving it away from them or they, became, they become uninterested very quickly. You know, that's the key here is keeping it there, getting them interested where they want to 